Lincoln Mitchell joins me now. He's a political analyst and research scholar at Columbia University School of International and Public Affairs. Lincoln, how damning is the evidence that we've uh, heard so far? Well, the evidence is pretty clear. Donald Trump incited this riot. He did this because he didn't want the outcome of the election to be honored. It is also pretty clear that he will be acquitted. And what that tells us, the bottom line here for me, is that our constitutional system is broken. And it's been broken by partisanship, and particularly partisanship on the Republican side. We know that at least 40 out of 50 Republicans will vote to acquit, either because they're afraid of losing a primary or because they have become part of the authoritarian movement that defined the Trump presidency. And impeachment, this process won't, won't change that. Change any minds, though, um, Lincoln? I'm not sure if you heard me. My mic, I think, was off. But did you? What, what I'm trying to say is what we've heard so far, will it change any minds? Certainly it did yesterday with Louisiana Representative um, Bill Cassidy, who changed his vote and basically said this process is, in fact, constitutional, and let's proceed with the trial. It may change some minds, and that's why I said, you know, I don't know how many Republicans will vote to convict. I suspect it'll be between four and six, but it could go to seven or eight. And if that happens, it's because minds have changed. But it won't change enough minds. However, it will change the minds of American voters. And that is to a great extent what this is about. The case that the Democrats are making, they're making it to the Senate, which is the jury in the impeachment trial, but also to the American voters and saying, you can't vote to keep these people in power. And I suspect it is changing minds there. And the evidence there, both quantitative, we've seen people changing their registration out of the Republican Party, and anecdotal. I mean, I've spoken to people who have said, you know, I'm done with this. So it is changing some minds, and that will make an impact. You and I have talked about this before. Uh, so many Republican lawmakers who were loyal to Donald Trump until the end, who questioned the legitimacy of a fair and free election. How much are they to blame for this? And are they as well sort of on trial here? You know, I tweeted something like this earlier today, because what I said is, is it a conflict of interest for people who are complicit in the crime to be sitting on the jury? And what I mean by that is that Going back, and I think it was Raskin who made this point, Congressman Raskin, it could have been one of the other uh, Democrats, going back to at least, I think it was the Congressman from Colorado, actually, going back to the spring, there was a disinformation campaign from the Republican Party, not just from Donald Trump, that this election would be stolen. And many Republicans in both houses of Congress participated in that. And many of them stuck with that lie until the very end. So they are part of this. And the question is, should they be part of the jury or should they recuse themselves? They're not going to recuse themselves. That's not how the Senate works. But this, this, if the American people in the world understands this about as being just about Donald Trump, they're making a mistake. The problem is much bigger than him. And what's your takeaway from what we heard from Donald Trump's uh, lawyers yesterday? And I guess that uh, shows us what's to come uh, when they make well, their case. I'm not a lawyer. And after watching Bruce Castor yesterday, I can say I'm grateful for that, my mother's opinions notwithstanding. Well, we really saw two things. One, we saw Bruce Castor, with the first attorney for Trump, with really no idea what to say. It was kind of a rambling, postmodern, Mr. Smith goes to Washington kind of thing. But then uh, the attorney, David Schoen, the second attorney, that's going to be the thrust of their argument, which is to kind of rant about things like cancel culture and partisanship and free speech, rather than take the charges head on. And the reason for that is they take the charges head on, they have no case. But also, with Donald Trump, it is always about throwing more and more red meat to the base. And that's what David Schoen did yesterday. So you asked me, will the Democrat House manager, Democratic House managers persuade anybody? The answer is probably one or two. Will the Republican Trump attorneys persuade anybody? Absolutely not. Yeah, um, it was certainly um, interesting to watch that. We'll leave it there. Lincoln Mitchell, thank you.